You know, there are a lot of different ideas right now about what we should be doing to keep ourselves safe and to keep our community safe from COVID-19. When should we go to restaurants or stores? How socially distant should we be? When do you need to be wearing a mask? When is it okay to take it off? How often should we be washing our hands? It can be dizzying to think about all those different rules. But what if you could just boil it down? Like what's the one thing that I could do? What's the most important thing we could be doing right now? Sometimes as followers of Jesus, it can feel like faith uh, is like that. It's like a bunch of different rules. Like we need to do this and also remember to read your Bible and to pray and to uh, help the poor and to be concerned about this. And it can feel weighty, like you're just weighed down by all these rules. But what if we could just boil it down to one thing? Like, what is the most important thing you can do if you want to follow Jesus? The good news is, is that Jesus actually answered that question for us when he was on earth and doing his public ministry. Someone asked him, what is the most important commandment? And he gave an answer to them. I want to show you what he said. It's in Matthew chapter 22. And uh, Jesus was asked by a teacher of the law in order to test him, in order to test him, what is the most important commandment? In Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 40, says this, Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So we know from this passage that this man is trying to test Jesus. Uh, Jesus has made some stunning claims. He's us upset the establishment a little bit, and they're trying to catch him uh, in, in a debate that maybe we don't really think about that often, but this is a big deal. Uh, in, the, in the law, that's the, what he's asking about, the most important commandment in the law, that would have been the Jewish Torah, the first five books of the, their Bible, the books of Moses. And it's said by some of the rabbis that there were 613 different commandments in order for the Jewish people who had been called out by God to be his representatives. They had 613 different commandments to follow. I mean, that's a lot to remember. And so rabbis debated, what is the most important commandment? What's the most important thing you could do? How do we sum up all of this law, all of this instruction? And they boiled it down, uh, and, there was, and there was a d- debate. And Jesus is weighing in on this. And he says the most important is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind and strength. I'd love for you to just think about that. Like, what does that even mean, to love God? Sometimes I think our culture is confused about what love even is. But next week, we're going to be talking about what exactly that means. What does it mean to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength? But right now, I just want to focus on the second part and the combination of these two things. Because Jesus says to love the Lord your God, and the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. And he's not just pulling that out of thin air. That comes from the Old Testament. It comes from Leviticus uh, chapter 19, verse 18, to love your neighbor as yourself. I actually think that in Frozen, the character Olaf gives a really good uh, definition of love. He says that love is putting someone else's needs in front of your own. It's love in action. It's love uh, in service to someone else. Not being selfish and, and caring only about myself, but, but putting others before me. So for you as a student, like that might look like uh, helping a friend with a problem when they need someone to talk to, or maybe practically helping them like with their homework, not like cheating, but like helping them understand uh, a concept or offering them a ride when they need uh, to go someplace, Uh, volunteering your time and your energy to help either the church or those in need or people in our community that are in need. Uh, It can mean giving your money. It can mean doing your chores without being asked to do them by your parents. It can mean even this, limiting your freedom, uh, like as in wearing a mask. Uh, even you're limiting your freedom so that you might not get others sick. Uh, and it is important to love others. It's so important that Jesus connected it to loving God. He said the, these two go together, that the entire idea of God's instructions hangs on these two commandments, to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. I wonder if I asked you, is it possible to love God without loving others? I wonder what you would say. 
I think Jesus would say no. That in order to love God, you must express that through loving others. He put these two commandments right together. And that's kind of the big idea that I want to get across is that God lovers love others. You want to say that with me? God lovers love others. Meaning that if you're someone who claims to love God, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, then you will be someone who loves others. Not just in a general affection for them, like feeling warmly about them, uh, but actually living out this action on their behalf, benefiting others, serving others, caring for others. God lovers love others. Jesus wanted to put these two things together. And so I don't know where you're at spiritually, like whether or not uh, you are a God lover, someone who claims to know God and love God. But that's my prayer for you, that you... Wherever you are, that you take more and more steps toward loving God, toward being in relationship with God. If you don't know him, that you would begin a relationship with him. And if you do know him, that you would go deeper in that relationship. And my prayer is that you would want to love others, that you would want to give up your time and your energy to serve and to care for others, that your disposition would be changed to be for others and that this year you would grow in learning that it's not just enough uh, to read your Bible, to go to church, to focus on things between you and God, but God cares deeply about your relationship to others. He wants you to take action with your faith and express your love for him in loving others. God lovers love others. That's the most important thing Jesus says that you can do as a follower of him. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm